What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Ebucks, yes sir, and I'm here with my first video. So what I basically did in this video is that I went to the mall and I asked people, what is the freakiest thing that you've done that you've never told your parents? I was surprised with some of the responses that I got, but some of the other ones were pretty decent, you feel me? But what I need y'all to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel at Alex Jaden, A-L-E-X-J-A-D-E-N, you feel me? And turn on the post notifications so you can get all the videos that I post. And go follow me on my Instagram at ebuks.860, ebucks.860. Enjoy. All right, I'm back at it again. What you going to tell them what your name is, bro? Kylan. All right, he said his name is Kylan, bro. The question for today is, what is the freakiest thing you've done that you never told your parents, bro? Oh. And you got to be a hundred, bro. What is the freakiest thing that you never told your parents that you've oh, done? Man, yo. The freakiest thing I ever told... Honestly... <laughs> all right so i had a little i had a threesome before but that shit was crazy for real what happened bro what happened in it I, I was in a little i go i go to this hotel i go to a little telly i link up with these jamaican females and they tell me like oh we about to smoke about to do this and the third i'm by myself i'm, I'm like doly mm -hmm. and then they asked me out of nowhere like you ever have a threesome before i said what for real yeah, I swear to God. Yo, I swear to God. They asked me if I ever had a threesome before, and I, I was a little confused. I was a little baffled because it was my first time, and I was like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. So we get into it and shit like that, and I was a little upset because they weren't doing nothing to each other, but I still had it. So it was like, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, whatever. Like, they, they wasn't like kissing each other and shit like that. So I was a little upset because I f thought my first experience was going to be a little bit more crazier if you will you know what i mean i feel you bro so if you had to rate it from like a one to a ten what would you give it as a rating bro oh man it's up there but it's not all the way up there it's like a seven it's like a seven seven like eight seven seven point five seven point five yeah, seven point five so bro like the question is like if you had the chance to do that again would you do it again bro and like what would you want to happen like when you do it again you feel me I guess I would if, if you say it like that I guess I would do it again yeah but at the same time I wouldn't if the same shit went down yeah, I feel you. But what I would do differently is I would definitely have them kissing up on each other and shit like that. But Copy. Jamaican women just want dick. Copy. Jamaican women just want dick. I swear to God, bro. Which which, which women don't want that, bro? You feel me? Which women don't? Yeah. In my honest opinion, I would say... Honestly, yes, I really sir. can't answer that. Bro, all women want it, bro. You feel me? Yeah, exactly. Bro, if they if they if they if they think we look good, you feel that, me? Uh, I can't answer that, bro. Nah, but I it's just white women. White women would do anything, nigga. That's a that's in, a that's a, way, a fact. That's in, a, in a fact. Way, I'm not trying to sound like racist or anything like that, but yeah, and it definitely in a way. Copy, copy. If they rock with you, they'll do whatever. I respect it, bro. All right, real, last last thing, you trying to shout yourself out, bro? All right, follow me on IG, Brizo, underscore sixteen K. Y'all heard it, Brizo underscore 16K. Follow my boy. All right, so I'm back at it again. What you gonna tell him what your name is? Hi, Ty J. Say it again. Ty J. Ty J. All right, so the question for today is, what is the freakiest thing that you've done that you've never told your parents? Most of it. Um, mm. And you can't cap. You gotta be. You gotta be 100% honest. We're not capping all 2019. Uh, threesome. I didn't tell my mom about that. All right, so like, like, give us the details. Like, what happened? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, wow. I can tell you, it was with the same sex. It was a, it was with two other girls. Yeah. All right, so like, like, what basically like happened? Like, how did it start? Like, you feel me? It started. Ooh, it was that. Mm, yeah, Valentine's Day. This year. Yeah, I went out with my friends. We were like, you know what? It's a girls' night, and it definitely was. That's what happened. All right, so y'all heard it for yourselves. Um, <laughs> last thing, so like, you trying to shut yourself out? No, I don't have an official Instagram or any of that. So. All right. Thank you for this interview. I appreciate you. <laughs> You're cool. Like All right, I'm back at it again. What you gonna tell them? What your name is? Victoria. She said her name is Victoria. So the question we have for today is, what is the freakiest thing that you've done that you've never told your parents?
Appreciate you, all right? All right. All right, I'm back at it again. What you gonna tell them what your name is, fellas? Chris Clark. Moochie. Chris Clark and Moochie, guys. Y'all heard it for yourselves. All right, guys, the question for today is, what is the freakiest thing that you've done that you've never told your parents? What is the freakiest thing that you've done that you never told your parents? Y'all can't cap now, it's 2019, you feel me? Like there's, just keep it 100, you feel me? All right, we'll start off with you, Chris. I fucked the shorty in my mom's car. All right, bro, say it, say it loud, say it loud, bro. I said I fucked the shorty in my mom's car. I never told her. Uh, for real, what happened? Like, what happened? Like when you did that, bro? It was in the driveway. She came home. Yep. Like, she went to the store, came home, and there was some mad shit. Mad so, shit. so like you was fucking your girl, like in your mom's yeah, car. It was not my girl. It was not your girl. It was like a thought. Yep. It's a thought. All right. What about you, bro? Man, I'm thinking right now. Keep it a buck. All right. Um, shit. I think the freakiest thing I did was I brought a girl to my grandmother's crib. Uh huh. I fucked up my grandmother's crib. I'm in her bed. You feel me? It was a bad moment. It was the only bed in the crib, so you know a nigga had to do what I had to do. You dig? <laughs> feel me? All right. So, you, so you, you changed the sheets after you did that? Oh, or hell not? yeah! Gotta respect grandma. You can't, you know, even though I kind of disrespected her, but I had to respect her in the same way. You feel me? Can't disrespect grandma. Y'all, hey, don't disrespect your grandparents. It's fucked up. You said do not disrespect your grandparents. If you fuck on her sheets, bro, you <laughs> have to make sure you change it. You feel me? Oh, you only you too. Get the shoes too, you feel me? Get the shoes, oh yeah, OVO. Ain't nobody got these, you feel me? 300, you feel me? Yeah. Yes, sir. Are right, y'all trying to shout yourself out? Shut out, kid. Now he could go first. All right, bro, you All go right. first. Follow me on Instagram at She Loves Moochie. It is S H E L O V E M O O C H I E. Get it. She Loves Moochie. What about you, bro? Chris Clark43 on Instagram and Chris Clark43 on Snap. All right, thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. All right. All right. Hey, it's your boy Ebucks, and I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And I want y'all to go spam that like button, and in the comment section, write the areas you feel like I should improve, and other ideas I can use in my YouTube videos. Stay tuned.